What is up, players? It's Warboss Tay back up in this mug. Let's take a look at the Soul Blades Grand... <laughs> Soul Blades Grandpa. Uh, I mixed up Grave Lords and Vampire. Soul Blight Grave Lords Vampire Lord. Woo! These names. All right, so as you can see, it comes in a plastic clamshell. And you cut that bad boy with your hobby knife as close as you can to the uh, main part. And then you get a nice dish. Perfect for... A wet palette. This is all you need for a wet palette, everybody. Everybody's talking about wet palettes and um, all the different kinds that are coming out right now. If you are on a budget and you can't afford a premium product, this is your wet palette right here. Just fill the bottom with some water so there is enough for a paper towel to soak up and sit down on. Even better if you have some parchment paper, not wax paper, not Kleenex, not toilet paper. You want a paper towel, something that like brawny or bounce. Uh, something that's going to absorb the water without breaking apart. And then that's a perfect surface for you to mix and just have workable paint for a long, long time. All right, let's take a look at what you get in the clamshell pack. You've got your instructions. Very important. You got to follow these instructions. Uh, why is it number seven? Does it actually have a fold out? Oh, man. I was like, this doesn't come like this. You've got to build it. You have many steps before you can get to the back of this clamshell pack here. So, okay, this is what I was afraid of. Just a lot of different pieces that are gonna go on real fiddly. At least the head looks like it comes on in one piece, number seven. Yeah, it looks like the head. Oh, I was afraid that the hair would be separate from the head and you'd have to do some fancy schmancy gluing, but it looks like the smallest, fiddliest bits are going to be the bat wing accent pieces. Looks like you might not even need to worry about that one because you've got the shield. And then put it on the base. All right, that's this is the profile or the the look from above. This is interesting. I've never seen this. I've never seen that look before shooting it from above like that. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like when it's all built up. Bats coming out of its hair, absolutely ridiculous looking, but. If you want, it looks like, this is what I was trying to search for. Is it possible to use, to do a head swap? Yeah, it is. It is possible. It looks like there's no slot that it fits into uh, specifically. You might just be able to, yeah, it looks like there's a little groove there. You just find another vampire face you like. Say, one of the new vampire heads from your... Blood Knight's kit. Oh, perfect, y'all. Of course, because I built mine to demonstrate to you what it looks like out of the box, we're going to build it so that it does look like this cartoony vampire lord. But if I were not a YouTuber and I was just building for myself, I would probably buy this guy and then a box of the Blood Knights and then just do a head swap. I think they want the, the bigger profile. They want all of this craziness coming out of the top so you can easily identify this character across the battlefield. All right, so let's take a look at the frame. Let's see what we got. I like that the... I was I was wondering if this was sculpted on or like a transfer or just painted on. It's nice that it's sculpted so you can uh, work out the paint. You don't have to worry about freehanding the design. You just have to worry about painting it in. Yeah, that hair and that... All those bats is just silly. I love the uh, sharp bat wings and the edged armor looks terrific all right so like i was afraid of you've got your fiddly bits got four of them two for the leg armor two for the elbow i love this spiky maul it's like a giant hammer club with just uh just those sharp tips to really tear into the enemy yeah this is a this is a beautiful looking sculpt I'm probably going to have problems with that head until the minute I put it on, and then I'm, I bet you I'm going to think it's the best thing ever. So let's go off and start building it, and I will join you at the end of the build to let you know what it was like. All right, players, there we have it, the Vampire Lord all built up. And uh, somebody did point out, a couple people did, that this should be a male vampire, because otherwise it would be a vampire lady. 
And uh, I guess that's pretty good reasoning. And the armor itself looks a little bit more flat chested now that it's all put together. I really liked putting on the, uh, the shield, the weapon, everything matches. If you hold it at a certain angle, it looks really nice. And uh, everything fit into these grooves where they're supposed to be for the legs, the knee armor. And uh, the body parts itself all fit together really well. The parts that did not work for me were the bat wing little accents on the arms specifically. The legs worked okay, but the arms and the one on the left arm, you can't even see it. It's completely covered up by the shield, so I don't understand why it's even a thing. They should have just put some standard, just regular arm armor because you could see it's covered up completely by the shield. So, I don't know. I think I've assembled everything correctly. The only one I'm not sure about is that bat wing there. But except for that, it looks really great. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing and review of the model, the Soulblight Gravelord's Vampire Lord. And uh, stay tuned for more unboxings and painting videos. And if you are interested in joining the 2021 Summer Painting Challenge, the Discord link below in the description will take you right there. And you can learn all about it. So much fun every single year. All right, guys, have a good one. Stay safe. We'll see you in the next video. What up, players? Gandalf the Grey, up in Dismal. Support Warboss Tay Studios. For now, more than ever, Hobbiton is in desperate need of heroes. Heroes like Daniel Sprinkle, Scrag Fist, Pix, Dicey Guy, Play It Painted, and Logan Swanson.